Let's order these improper fractions in mixed numbers from least to greatest. And there's two ways to do it. You could put them all as mixed numbers, or you could put them all as improper fractions. I'll, I will write them all, let's try it as mixed numbers first and see what happens. And then we could, try, we could also try improper fractions. So if we write them all as mixed numbers, this expression right over here, this number, 3 goes into 7 two times. And the remainder is 1, so it's 2 and 1 third. Then we have our 4 and a half, which is already a mixed number. 4 and a half. Then this one over here, 3 goes into 4 one time with the remainder 1. So this is 1 and 1 third. And then you have 1 and 2 fifths, which is already written as a mixed number. 1 and 2 fifths. And then finally, we have this quantity. 15 goes into 17 one time with the remainder of 2. So this is 1 and 2 fifteenths. So we already know what the largest number is, just looking at the whole number parts of these mixed numbers. It's 4 and a half, so let me write it out here. 4 and a half. The second largest number is the 2 and 1 thirds. It is 2 and 1 third. And now the whole number part of all of these last three, they're all the same, so we now have to look at the fractional part. And they all have different denominators. So to simplify things, or so that we can compare apples to apples, let's all give these the same denominator. And the best, the, the best common denominator will be the least common multiple of 3, 5, and 15, which is 15. So we can rewrite it. So this is going to be 1 and something over 15. To go from 3 to 15, you have to multiply the denominator by 5. So let's also multiply the numerator by 5. So this is 1 and 5 fifteenths. Let's do this one. This is 1 and something over 15. We multiplied the denominator by 3. So we also have to multiply the numerator by 3. So let's put a 6 there. 2 times 3 is 6. And then finally, this, well, this one already has 15 as a denominator. This is 1 and 2 fifteenths. So now this is easier to compare. They all have 15 as a denominator and the fractional part of the mixed number. The smallest of these is 2 fifteenths, so I'm going to write it out front. So this is 1 and 2 fifteenths. That's the smallest. Then the next smallest is 1 and 5 fifteenths, which is this quantity right over here, which is, I could write it as 1 and 1 third. 1 and 1 third. And then the next smallest, or I guess the larger one after that is the 1 and 6 fifteenths, which is the same thing as 1 and 2 fifths. 1 and 2 fifths. And we're done. And we can then rewrite them in the way that they were originally written. And just so this, this one right over here in pink was originally written as 17 fifteenths. So I'll write, them as, write it as 17 15. This 1 and 1 thirds was originally written as 4 thirds. So I can write it as 4 thirds. The 1 and 2 fifths was already written as 1 and 2 fifths. 1 and 2 fifths. And then the 2 and 1 thirds was written as 7 thirds, 7 thirds. And the 4 and a half was already 4 and a half. That was already 4 and a half. Now the other way to do it is convert all of these into improper fractions. If we do it that way, the 7 third is still a 7 third. 4 and a half, to turn that into an improper fraction, 2 times 4 is or one way to think about it, 4 is the same thing as 8 halves. 8 halves plus 1 half is 9 halves. 9 halves. Or a simple way, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 halves. And then 4 thirds, already written as an improper fraction. 1 and 2 fifths? Well, 1 is the same thing as 5 fifths. And 5 fifths plus 2 fifths is 7 fifths. 7 fifths. Or you could say 5 times 1 plus 2 is 7. And then finally, we have the 17 fifteenths. 17 fifteenths. Now, in order to really compare apples to apples, we have to have a common denominator here. And the least common multiple of 3, 2, 3, 5, and 15, it looks like if we just had 3, 5s, and 15s here, it would, be third, it would be 15, but that's not divisible by 2. So we're going to have to go with 30. So we're going to have 30 as the common denominator for all of these. So 30. So 7 thirds, to get the denominator from 3 to 30, we multiplied by 10. So we multiply the numerator by 10. So we have 70 over 30. Then we have 9 halves. But now we're going to make the denominator 30. To go from 2 to 30, we have to multiply the denominator by 15. So we're going to have to multiply the numerator by 15. So 9 times 15 is 90 plus 45. So that's 135. Now we have 4 thirds. We're going to rewrite the denominator as 30. Multiplying the denominator, we're multiplying the denominator by 10. So we want to multiply the numerator by 10. So it's 40 over 30. And then 7 fifths, we're going to write with the denominator 30. 
We're multiplying the denominator by 6, so we have to multiply the numerator by 6. 7 times 6 is 42. And then finally, 17 15 if the denominator is 30, we're multiplying the denominator by 2, so we also have to multiply the numerator by 2. 17 times 2 is 34. And now we can compare apples to apples. All the denominators are the same, so we can just compare the numerators. The smallest numerator here is 34. So 34 over 30 is the smallest. Then the next smallest, it looks like 40 over 30. It is 40 over 30. And then the next smallest is 42 over 30. It is 42 over 30. And then the next smallest, 42, let's see, 70 over 30, is 70 over 30. And then the next smallest, or the largest now, is 135, 135 over 30. And you convert these back down to what they were originally represented at, and you get this exact same ordering.